In this presentation, we will process payroll, payroll which includes a salaried employee, a salaried employee who is also the owner of the S Corporation and has a medical insurance item in the payroll within QuickBooks Online. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are in the S Corp paid payroll file. We're going to go down to the workers tab on the left side to process our payroll. As we scroll down, we see we have our three employees now. We're now going to be working with Judy Jones, who is going to be the owner. So that's going to be the salaried employee. We're then going to run the payroll up top. And we're going to run the payroll once again for January. So we're going to run the payroll for January for now Judy Jones, who's going to be our salaried employee. So we're starting back over at the beginning of the year. We've ran through uh, up through May for Anthony, I believe uh, April for Beth. And now we're going to take a look at Judy Jones, a salaried employee. We're going to use the scroll bar to go a little bit to the right. We'll notice that we have the total pay here and we've got the pencil and then we've got the S Corp insurance on the right side. We're going to then select this pencil item to see the detail for Judy Jones, our owner. We see that it is a salaried employee. So notice we just have a set amount there. We don't have the hours, of course. It's going to be the 500,000 divided by 12 months because we pay monthly 500,000 yearly salary. So that's where the 41666 is coming from. Then we're going to scroll down and we have the other pay information. This is where that S Corporation owner's health insurance will go. This is going to be an item that will be specific to uh, an S Corporation owner and the, the characteristics of how the health insurance will be paid in terms of an S Corporation owner between the S Corporation and the owner's individual tax form on the form 1040. Then we'll go down to the employee taxes. We have the uh, federal income tax, the social security and the Medicare, the federal income tax still using the tables or the calculations by the system, which is going to be the more complex type of taxation on the salaried employee. The thing that we typically would need QuickBooks to help with, or it would be much beneficial to have QuickBooks help with. Then we have the social security 2583, which is going to be 6.2% of the 41,666. So if we took the 41,666.67 times 0 0.062, we get the uh, 2583. That's going to be this 2583. So we have the same calculation there. Now note, however, that because the salary is high, we may hit the cap. So once we hit the cap, then we will see a difference in the calculation for the social security it then stopping once the income cap has been hit so we're not there yet and then we have the medical and then we have the california taxes which we're not focusing in on here we have the employee deductions we'll select those we have the 3500 this is the amount of the 401k that we said was going to be taken out of the check so it's going to be taken out from from gross pay to get to the net pay then we have the employer taxes. We see that FUTA has arrived again. So it's 42,000. It's going to be the whole thing. So all of FUTA is going to happen on this one payroll for this particular employee because they're going to hit the cap just in that one payroll period. So here's the FUTA next pay period to run this employee. There would be no FUTA, not because of any other changes, just because the cap has been hit within that first payroll. Then we have the Social Security and Medicare and the California uh, employer taxes. Then we'll go down to the company paid contributions where we have the matching of the 401k or the amount that we said was going to be uh, provided by the company side. So this is not going to be reducing the gross pay but paid over and above the gross pay. Then we're going to say OK down below. And there we have it. It looks good. Our pay period is January 1st through the 31st. And we are going to preview the payroll. Previewing the payroll, we've got the total pay and the net pay. We're going to submit the payroll. And then we're going to assign a check number. I'm not sure what we're on, so I'm going to say 1009. And then we'll take a look at the pay stub. We would need to provide the pay stub at all times. If we scroll down to the pay stub, note we have the other pay up top noted here at the 2000 amount. So that's going to be the 2000 for the S Corp 
uh, owner's health insurance. If we then scroll down to the activity, we've got the 215222 uh, as the net pay, the calculation for that being the total pay of the 416667 minus the taxes minus the deductions. The taxes on the left, where we have the federal income tax, Social Security, Medicare, and California tax, as we've seen in the past, but of course, they're larger given the fact that we have the larger payroll. And then we have the deductions, which in this case only includes that 3500 Note that the net check doesn't include the S Corp owner's health insurance. However, the S Corp owner's health insurance is included here because it's considered as basically an other pay item. So although it's not going to be affecting the calculation of the net check, we still see it here. And that's going to be the special characteristic of this S Corporation health insurance as opposed to what we see on a uh, contri contribution of the say the 401k plan that's the employer half this is only the employee half we don't see the employer half of the 401k because that isn't in the in the net check calculation we also do not see the payroll or employer taxes we only see the employee taxes the amount that are coming out of the gross pay to arrive at the net pay so we're going to close this back out and then go back to and close this back out We'll go to the accounting on the left side. We're in our chart of accounts. We want to go to the checking account up top and view the register. And then within the register, we're going to scroll down. And now within January, we have our three checks. Now we have our new check here, which is Judy Jones. So the new check added for Judy Jones. If we were to select that and edit it, then it would jump back over to that check detail where we can see the detail from the data input screen. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.